Hello, this is serving STFUHM, and today I am announcing who was voted number three on the countdown. Now, originally she was number two until she got kicked down. I will talk about number two in, in the next video. Who was put into the number three slot is Rainbow Dash. Now, Rainbow Dash seems like a tomboy in, in the new, which they basically announced my Little Pauline movie, Friendship is Magic, aka the Crushio Girls, Rainbow Dash is going to be like a soccer player. However, I'm not going to talk about the human Rainbow Dash. No, I'm going to talk about Rainbow Dash, the brother Pegasus. It's unknown about Rainbow Dash's past. All we know is that both her and Fluttershy have attended flight camp, and basically, because of Rainbow Dash, everyone managed to get the cutie marks when she had created the Sonic Rainbow, thus making her own cutie mark appear, which looks like a cloud with a lightning bolt. However, it's in the show, it has been mentioned that whether or not Rainbow Dash has dropped out of flight school. However, I'm not sure. I have no idea. But thing is, Rainbow Dash is more than a tomboy. She, she basically holds the element of harmony. Even though several times, you don't really know it. Like at the beginning of the first, the second episode, you see that Rainbow Dash basically kind of jumps the gun on Twilight thinking that she was a spy. However, there's a lot of faults to to Rainbow Dash, she prefers to be cool, and several times she does have her soft side, like in the Best Pet Win episode. She she picks a turtle over the hawk because no, she picks the turtle, the tortoise over the eagle because basically the eagle was the only one who stayed behind and helped her. She she basically does care about her friends. However, she does most likely love her own personal image. She's basically, how you say, she likes to show off, basically. She does not mouth stop. However, sometimes it does cause her trouble. Like in the episode, <clears throat> like in the episode, may do well, when, she, when basically the fame literally goes up, up to her head. However, in several episodes, she does learn her lesson. You, you do see a human side to her, and in the Sonic Rainbow episode, when she is basically shut in fear of showing off to thousands of other peck size ponies, especially Princess Celestia. However, her main dream is to basically join the Wonderbolts, who are like these Blue Angel versions of peck size. However, it does end up being tested when she goes to the Wonderbolt Academy, when she soon realizes that Something she may actually want may not actually put her beliefs to the test. When she actually told the head, like, hey, if, if pushing people aside and putting them in danger basically has, if I had to be a, a jerk and hurt people in order to be the best to get into the Wonder Bolt, then I'm not going to accept it. And of course, she does end up finishing up her week there. However, Rainbow Dash, not only she is kind and horrible, however, she basically likes... The thing about Rainbow Dash that drives me crazy is not because she's picky. Oh no, it's... She knows what she wants, it's just she doesn't like to express it. Like in the Art of the Dress episode, when Rory asks Rainbow Dash, um, What's wrong with the dress? Is there something you want me to change on it? She says the color's fine. She likes the design. She just wants it 20% cooler than this. And head to fourth king. Map with the cat faces, which you guys can probably now buy on t-shirts. However, Rainbow Dash, she is more confident. She is awesome. In fact, she probably is an idol to many girls out there. And probably some probably has some male peg size after her. However, it doesn't show. How, 
At the same time, you do see, of course, that Rainbow Dash does have a weaknesses. Like in the Q Mark Mystery episode at the end of Season 3, you do see that Rainbow Dash doesn't basically know how to handle animals. You don't know if she does love her pet toys, however, she is not a caretaker. But in the Sisterhood Campout, she does prove to be a big, somewhat of an older sister of Omar to Scooby Lou. However, when, when at the end of the episode, she basically soon realized that it's her love of telling horror stories is finding Scooby Lou. And she does basically admit, hey, I, I'm like you. I used to be afraid, but now I realize they're not the most to be scared of. She is competitive. Even though in the episode of Fall with a Friend, you start to see that's, that when when things doesn't seem to go her way, Rainbow Dash will go to any links, especially going to cheat with the eye and a pony. Even though, yeah, there was no rule saying no wings could be used, however, it was not until the falling of the leaves when she basically accuses Applejack of cheating. Where basically there was no proof of it. Even Twilight pointed out, she's saying, oh, she didn't really treat T. That's when Rainbow Dash said, okay, whatever. And she goes off anyway. She is kind of vain in her own personal way. She doesn't like to be called sissy. She doesn't like to be called a coward. Oh, no. However, like, it, like I said about the other characters, this core does put her to the test, especially in the return of the friendship of Han the return of Han Me. When when this core shows her a peek of what's happening in Cloudstone, she ends up getting her wings and becoming the opposite of herself. Instead of being loyal, she gives it up so she can leave and go back to Cloudstone. Rainbow Dash at like See, somewhat pushy. Let's see, um, tomboy. Let's see, um, I know a couple words to describe her, but Rainbow Dash, even though she is kind of a jerk, however, she's a loyal friend to those in need. Heck, she basically will go all out to prove her worth. But you can still see she is kind of pushy, kind of like in. The Crystal Empire games, when they're trying to basically get the approval of the games to be held there, however, she basically is kind of pushy. I'm not going to get much into it, since I'm only allowed to do 15 minutes. However, Rainbow Dash may be pushy, but she's actually a pretty loyal friend. In fact, in my opinion, she... I wish she could have been number one. However, from two to number three, that is Rainbow Dash. And hopefully, we'll get to see more of her in My Little Pony Equestria Girls this summer, this June. See you guys later for number two. Bye.